So it seems that this pair is still available on the sneakers app and even though it's gonna celebrate the Mexico City sneaker culture unfortunately this one won't bring the best materials but they are still slightly a bit better than the general releases Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also giving me a like, it really help out the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. In today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, Nike Dunk clothes, which as I've said earlier, it seems that it's gonna celebrate uh, Mexico City sneaker culture. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box, which as you can see will come in one of the regular boxes in this red color, which will have this uh, big uh, Nike lettering and also the Nike sushi in this white color here on top. So let's just go ahead and take them out. So in today's video guys, we're gonna have a look at an interesting color combination for this uh, Nike Dunk clothes in this uh, sail and dark marina colorway. dropped at least here in the UK uh, last month if I'm not mistaken for the retail price of 120 pounds which will also be around 120 US dollars and if I'm not mistaken this one dropped also last year so I might be mistaken but this one feels like a restock and as I've just said earlier this one will draw inspiration from the vibrant energy of the street sports and will celebrate Mexico City's nigger culture and this one will pay homage to the spirited answers of the 90s style and I think I actually got a bit carried away from what I've realized in the last couple of months the Nike Dunks received some slightly better materials for most of the panels which I thought that is gonna be the case for the today's pair as well but it seems that not all panels will include these nicer materials but at least for half of them we're gonna have some uh, softer leather materials so let's not waste any more time guys and also do a breakdown of this one so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have just uh, this leather material in this uh, off-white color which will be present for most of the panels but as i said earlier some panels will have some uh, better uh, leather materials which will feel softer which will be the case for this overlay here at the front of the tobo section which we're also gonna have it present for the lacing system partially at the collar section and covering the whole heel section as well and also just above it where we're also gonna have this nike lettering on top in this yellow color so the slightly inferior materials used for this uh, release will be present uh, here at the top of the tobo section where we're also gonna have your normal perforation holes to give it some breathability and this material also be present uh, here in the midfoot underneath these Nike sushes and also wrapping the remaining uh, color section as well as in for the actual lacing system we're gonna have these uh, punch out holes which will keep in place these uh, sail flat laces and underneath these laces guys we're gonna have this uh, dark marina blue uh, nylon tongue which will have a decent amount of padding and this one as you can see at the top will have this uh, white tag which will have uh, written on top uh, the nike lettering and also the nike swoosh which will come in this blue and red colorway continuing the midfoot guys for this nike swooshes we're gonna have this uh, nice uh, tumble leather in this uh, the dark marina blue colorway which uh, feels quite nice to the touch and it also feels that this one will be slightly a bit uh, thicker and as i said earlier these two nike switches will join here at the back where we're gonna have this nice uh, white leather which will also have this nike lettering in this yellow color going now inside of the shoe for this one we're gonna have this uh, white lining which will have a decent amount of padding and at the bottom we're gonna have a foam insole which will come in this red color and at the heel section we're gonna have just this nike swoosh imprinted in this yellow color 
So now guys, we can go to this uh, rubber midsole in this cell color, which will have your normal standard pattern. So this is nothing uh, different here. As you can see, we're also gonna have uh, a stitch in this uh, cell color as well. But unfortunately, this one will be actually quite stiff. So the level of comfort, uh, unfortunately, is not gonna be that great. So now guys, we can finish with this uh, rubber gum outsole which uh, will have your normal standard pattern again, which will include one of the best attractions in the world, which will also be present on the Air Jordan 1 range as well. So as I said earlier, this one is one of the best attractions in the world. And this one will include the circular design here at the front, while here in the midfoot, you're gonna have this Nike lettering and also this Nike swoosh, which is something usual since it's actually dropped back in the 80s. As in for the actual sizing guys, for me as I have a skinny fit for this uh, range coming from Nike, I'm always going with a half size down and this one fits me just fine. But I would say that if you have normal fit guys, you can just uh, stick with your true to size and just in case you have wide fit, most definitely I would suggest you to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this one is not going to be too tight for you. So overall guys, this release coming from Nike for this uh, Dunk Low SE which it seems that it's uh, celebrating uh, Mexico City's uh, sneaker culture. In my opinion, it's just an average release, which uh, will just have this white leather for most of this upper. Of course, you're also gonna have some slightly better materials for a few overlays and a nice uh, and uh, contrasting uh, blue accents uh, here in the midfoot and also for this uh, tongue. But rather than that, I would say that this one feels like uh, any other general releases which unfortunately feels actually quite uh, stiff and that will be mainly because we're gonna have quite uh, cheap materials uh, in few places and of course as this one will sit on this rubber midsole which is actually more than 30 years old unfortunately the level of comfort won't be that great but i guess for just a couple of hours this one should be just fine so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of one of these latest releases uh, coming from nike for this uh, dunk low se I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel, you can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. Of course, if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews, you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen. And as always, I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.